Ah, love, amor, liebe, laska. What better way to show your special person that you care for them by spending a grip of cash on candy, flowers, champagne, and an outrageously priced four-course meal? At least, that's how we Americans show our love. But not the Czechs. Czech people often dismiss Valentine's Day as too commercialized, too Western, too American. And you know what? They might be right. The Czechs have their own celebration of love on the 1st of May, known as Svatek Zamilovanich, which translates to Day of Love or Love Day. But it's a little bit different than your typical Valentine's Day, and they claim their version is better than ours, as they do with pretty much everything. So as an unbiased third-party observer, <clears throat> I'm here to pit these two lovey-dovey holidays against each other and answer the question, which of these holidays is worthy of your affection? Czech Love Day or American Valentine's Day? Before I tell you all about the Czech Day of Love, I want to thank this week's sponsor, NordVPN. So earlier this week, I was at the train station waiting to pick up my love, and I remembered that I had to check something in my bank account. But because I've learned so much from this week's sponsor, NordVPN, I know that logging on to public Wi-Fi is a definite no-no, unless you're protected. So what NordVPN does is basically run in the background of your mobile or computer and encrypts your data when you go on the internet. It also allows you to connect to the internet via a different IP address, even through a different country. So why is that important? Well, when I'm booking a flight or a train ticket or a hotel, sometimes the website will give me a better deal if they think I'm a customer in another country. Logging on is super easy. All you do is jump on the app and hit quick connect and then choose your location. And boom, you're protected. And with one account, you can connect to up to six devices. NordVPN gives a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you decide that internet security is not a priority for you, no problem, they'll give you a refund. When you click on the link in the description box below, you'll get a two year plan that includes four months for free. You get online security and peace of mind for spare change per month. When you click on the link, you help me support this channel. You help me pay for these lights and filming in Brno and Czeskie Budovice and other places in this country. So I really appreciate it. Okay, back to the video. Czech Love Day existed centuries before Valentine's Day. It's said that a version of this Love Day was even celebrated in ancient Rome, as the 1st of May was dedicated to Flora, the goddess of spring and fertility. It didn't become more widespread in this nation, though, until a great work of Czech literature was born. Early 19th century Czech poet Karel Heinek Macha composed a tragic love poem called May. It's the story of a young girl, Yarmila, who was betrayed by an older man. Later, she meets his son and they fall madly in love. The son kills his father for the girl so they can finally be together, until reality comes crashing down, and the son is to be executed for his crime. As he waits to die, he reflects on the beauty of nature and of life. This tragic poem captured the hearts of readers across the Czech lands, and thus the 1st of May was cemented as the celebration of love. Valentine's Day comes from the Feast of St. Valentine, who was martyred for defying the Roman Emperor's orders. He was accused of marrying couples in secret so that the newlywed men wouldn't have to go to war. It was thought that single men were more virtuous in war. That's romantic. Another reason why Love Day is so popular in Czechia is that the 1st of May is also Labor Day. Labor Day is celebrated almost worldwide to commemorate the famous strike of 1886 in Chicago when laborers fought for a shorter workday. 
However, what most Czechs remember from Labor Day are the obligatory socialist May Day parades held while they were under the thumb of the USSR. And so, celebrating the 1st of May as a day of love instead of a communist Labor Day is kind of a way to stick it to the comrade and give the day a more positive feel. And since Labor Day is a public holiday, the Czechs Love Day celebrations can stretch from morning until night. On the other hand, Valentine's Day celebrations in the United States typically come after a long day of work, which can be kind of a mood killer. You basically rush home from work, rush out to an extremely overpriced set menu dinner at some fancy restaurant, and then stare blankly into your lover's eyes while you think about work. Also, the weather in February can be freezing, so you're limited to indoor activities like dinner or the theater, which typically cost even more money. In May, when the Czechs celebrate, it's much more comfortable to sit outside and have a picnic and take a walk hand in hand with your beloved. Valentine's Day in the US really comes down to how much money you spend. It started with the innocent sending of Hallmark cards back in the early 1900s, and then flowers, and then chocolate, and now you go out to eat candlelit dinners. On Valentine's Day, restaurants double their prices with set menus, and if you wait too long, you can't get a reservation anywhere. On the other hand, Czech Love Day celebrations are much more modest and much less about buying things. The old tradition goes that couples should kiss under a blooming cherry blossom tree on May 1st to ensure fertility. But there's a catch. According to legend, if a woman doesn't get kissed, she could wither away and die in 12 months. Czechs always have a catch. In Prague, couples make their way to Petchin Hill on the 1st of May to kiss under the blossoming cherry trees to avoid their withering fate and to say hello to the poet Maha. It's said that kissing in front of the statue will make a couple's love as strong as the stone. Valentine's Day isn't just for couples. No, no, no. Why limit our marketing just to couples when we can sell to everyone? Parents buy gifts for their kids, kids give Valentine's Day cards and candy to their classmates, and the list goes on. Single women buy each other self-care kits for Galentine's Day, capitalism at its finest. The Czech holiday isn't only for couples either. Single women can also wait under a cherry tree to be kissed. And there's a Love Day tradition involving single men. On the night of April 30th, after they've burnt the witches, they apparently cut down a tree in the woods and decorate it with things like ribbons and flowers, turning it into a maypole, which is then erected in the town square for all to see. Then, naturally, the men from other villages sneak into the village and try to steal the maypole. The single men have to guard their maypole throughout the night. If it doesn't get stolen, then the guys can proudly go to the homes of single women and give them presents in hopes of winning them over. In the past, after the successful defending of the town's maypole, there were lots of parties and dancing and opportunities for young singles to mingle and meet. And on the evening of May 1st, after a day of kissing under the cherry trees, young couples jump over a bonfire while holding hands to test the strength of their bond. The Czech day of love might not have boxes of expensive chocolates and candlelit dinners, but it has chivalry and day-long parties and orchards of single women. And it's the one spring Czech holiday when the women aren't whipped, burned, or drowned. What's not to love? Which holiday would you prefer to celebrate? See you under the cherry blossoms. Uvidíme se příště. Ahoj.